What's up everyone, this is Ali Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you 5 battery myths that I'm going to be debunking in this video, and showing you what you should and should not do to save battery life. Let's get started. These aren't necessarily tricks to help you save battery life, but they are tricks to help you prolong the life of your total battery capacity. So I guess technically this will help your battery in the long term and it could be the difference of your battery only storing 80% capacity versus 70% capacity. So hopefully this video helps and let's get started. So with old batteries, many people believe that if you discharge the battery all the way down from 100% to 0%, that was actually healthy for the battery. And this was supposed to be done very often. Now that was with old nickel batteries. That was just the type of material used to develop these batteries and that was about 10 years ago to 20 years ago, but recently technology has changed and companies are using lithium ion batteries in their devices. And the common practice should be to discharge your iOS device from 100% to 0% only really about once a month. It's not even that necessary. And the way batteries work nowadays with lithium ion is your battery can only have a certain amount of charge cycles. So if your phone goes from 100% to 0%, that is called one charge cycle. And usually your iOS device can go from 500 to 800 cycles before the life of your battery will start to decrease and retain less capacity over time. I'll have a link down below so you can view what capacity and how many charges your device can hold before the lifespan starts to degrade. The next rumor is charging overnight kills the long-term battery. This is just simply not true. Like I said earlier, the only issue with lithium ion batteries is the life cycle it has. So for example, many people thought that if your phone went from 100% to 50% and you plugged it in at night, the phone would go back up to 100% and stay there. And people thought that this would ruin the battery because the phone would be at 100% charging for more than six hours. And many people believe that this was bad for the battery. When in reality, that's just not true. What actually happens is when your device reaches 100%, your device goes into this mode called a trickle charge and it just slowly decreases the power going in the phone and just routes it back to the outlet and your phone's completely fine. And the life of your battery only decreases based off the charge cycles. So if you plugged in your phone at 50% and then charged it up to 100%, and then decreased it to 50% the next day, you may have charged your phone twice, but because you only did 50% for two days, adding a total of 100%, that would be considered one charge cycle. So one charge cycle can be used throughout multiple days, or depending on how many cycles your battery has been through, maybe you'll have multiple cycles in a day if you have an older device. Now this next myth is very, very interesting. So a lot of people still do this just because it's a habit, but closing apps while multitasking. So a lot of people believe that when they close apps on the iPhone, they're actually cutting off background processes. Now that is true, but people believe that this is saving battery because the less background process going on in the background, the less battery being used. And that idea is true, but for the iPhone specifically, the iPhone has gotten incredibly better at RAM management and very good at background process efficiency. So what I recommend you do is don't close out of apps anymore unless you don't use them. So for example, if you have YouTube running in the background, don't close it every day because if you use YouTube every day, your device will actually use up more battery to reload the app after you've closed it to load everything up and it's very pointless. So if you haven't closed the app and you keep it open in the background, the next time you click on YouTube on the home screen, it'll already be loaded because it's been open in the background. So keeping your apps open in the multitasking page can actually save you battery life throughout the day. And this is actually true because on the iPhone 10, Apple actually made it slightly harder to close the apps because they noticed people were getting worse battery life because of this. Apple has actually addressed this issue and their advice is to close out of apps as little as possible. Possible. So if you only use settings maybe once a week, then maybe that's an appropriate app to close. The next myth is using any charger you want for your device. So many people believe that they could just go to a gas station and use any power outlet on their iOS device. Now, as convenient as that might sound, this can actually cause damage to the long-term battery life. If your battery is being charged by a power outlet that produces too much electricity or too little, that can actually damage the battery because it's not getting the proper amounts the iPhone is made for. 
While the iPhone will still charge, the overall life cycle of your battery could decrease. So what I recommend you do is only use trusted sources for your power bricks that go into the wall. So I specifically use Amazon and the ones from Apple and occasionally one from AT&T. Do not use off-brand funky knockoffs of iPhone chargers because that could actually damage your device. This next myth is very, very misinterpreted. So a lot of people believe that auto brightness actually saves battery. So when you turn on auto brightness, the idea behind it is the brighter the room you're in, the higher the brightness and the lower brightness room you're in, your screen will dim. So this concept is a good idea for saving battery, although that's just not the case in reality. So auto brightness is always slightly off and whenever you're in a non well lit area, your phone might not register the brightness it should be at. And sometimes if you go out in the sun, the phone brightness will go all the way up even when it's not necessary. So your phone can exaggerate what the screen brightness needs to be and that can actually use more power than needed. What also might happen is the sensor at the top could be using more background processes than usual which just having that sensor turned on uses more battery. So if you have the sensor turned off and just keep the brightness all the way down and occasionally adjust it when needed you can actually get some really long battery life. So I'll notice there will be a situation where I don't need my screen up at all and this sensor will basically put my screen halfway and I have to keep turning it down and it's so annoying and it uses up so much battery. So keep this feature off if you are seriously needing to conserve a lot of battery. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I got a bunch of really cool ones coming out so stay tuned for that and as always, peace.